everybody. My name is Miss Heaney, and today we are continuing the story of Jamestown. Today we are talking about three very important people. John Smith, Chief Powhatan, and Pocahontas. We're going to start our story by talking about Captain John Smith. Captain John Smith was a settler who came to Jamestown by boat from England all the way to North America where Jamestown was founded. He learned the Algonquian language or Algonquin language after being taken captive by the Powhatan Indians. The Powhatan Indians captured him and took him away from Jamestown. When Captain John Smith eventually left the Powhatan natives after learning the Algonquian or Algonquin language, he realized that the colony was in ruins. Eventually, he will help fix that problem, but we're going to talk about that on a different day. We are going to talk a little bit more about what he did at the end. Let's talk about Powhatan. Chief Powhatan is the captain or the chief of many Indian tribes in the Powhatan Alliance. So he was kind of like the ruler of the group of natives in the Powhatan Alliance. He worked with the Englishmen in the beginning and helped them learn how to plant crops and tobacco. We have Pocahontas. Pocahontas was the bridge between the Indian and the English worlds. So she helped the English people and the natives communicate. She learned their language. She was kidnapped by the colonists in hope that the Powhatan would exchange several English captives. When she was captured in hopes to get those captives, she met someone named John Rolfe. They fell in love and eventually got married. Pocahontas, after marriage, her portraits look like this, but remember, she was a Native American. She was kidnapped and held captive. Once they got married, she left to go to England and hoped to one day come back. But sadly, Pocahontas got sick, and she never returned back to England. Our natives and our English people were once friends. The natives traded things like food, animal fur, and leather. These were the three things that the Native Americans traded. They traded animal furs, leather, and food. The English settlers traded tools, pots, and copper to make jewelry. So the English settlers had the tools, copper to make jewelry, and pots. So the English people would trade these items for these items. So the food would go here, the tools would go there, and they traded these items. Eventually, though, the Native Americans saw the English settlers as people who would one day take over their land. The white settlers kept taking the Native Americans' land and they eventually got pushed out of their land. We will talk about that in future stories. Thanks for watching today's story. Bye.